maybe at like 10 30 11 o'clock and then i fucking corrected it and like whipped it back and like somehow got it straight again and it was just like we kept going and <laughs> we were just like holy fuck like, so like everyone like, woke up the last, everyone was up for that one this is all 45 minutes from new york city like we we're on the <laughs> Yo, home right stretch at the end, like it just wanted to test us one more time after score it was like too good you just, know like just to keep you a little humble because yeah. you were probably feeling it was like too feeling, seamless before then you were feeling yourselves beforehand you're like we just scored this spot and that spot I, would, I, would, I honestly was thinking I, I, like right before that thinking about how dry the roads had gotten and salted and like fuck I, I hit one big patch and just started sliding I was like holy fuck doing 80 jeez pull so scary but wow. I pulled it it was like a uh, quick adrenaline rush to wake us up so we could have beers in the city <laughs> <laughs> and the Delmarva crew here you guys I mean how is it tagging along with the with the with this whole crew? Great, great yeah. tagging along with the boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah I hadn't seen everybody in a couple of years, so and it is yeah, it's, it hasn't been as often that everybody links up in the past two years, so it's been great. And then getting into the city a little bit, you yeah, guys uh, get yeah. into it while you've been up here. It's been a couple of years for that for me too. Yeah, oh. we went out last night for a little bit. What would we do? Would we would we go oh, karaoke? One uh, six nine sick little bar around the corner oh, from where we're staying at. Nice in Manhattan. Yeah, the Lower East Super Side nice. dive bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's been a long, we've been in Hawaii for like. Three months, yeah, like it's it's, been, it's like a desert when it comes to like just a good dive bar. You got to go to the Cherry Tavern if you're tonight. It's on uh, six between A first and A, I believe. They used to have the uh, the special, which was a shot of Takati, a shot of tequila and Takati beer, which was I think like six, five bucks, yeah, maybe six now. I think we nine, had that's like, last night. That's yeah. where I had many scandalous nights when I was younger and single and free and uh, had no care in the world. Uh, that was right before fun. I met you. Huh? Yeah, so sick. Yeah, that was be- just before. I wouldn't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, that must have been crazy going from Hawaii then to this cold, like quite a shock. Well, Ball and I were talking about it like there. I feel like when we were growing up, like you always heard about these like surf magazine trips and it was yeah. like a strike mission somewhere like that you would never expect. And you would, you know, it was like coming from different places. You don't really see those that often anymore. And so with this, I just kept thinking about like probably the stuff that me and Ball grew up on is like Chris and Corey, like going and chasing like waves in the middle of nowhere. And you trying to like just be like, where are they? What are they doing? Yeah, that was, so that was like the, that was like what being a pro surfer was to me. You know, like yeah. if you're from that school, like you're fully you know, from the school of Wardo. Like get I, there like, no matter what, suck the marrow out of the whole town and have a good time, <laughs> <laughs> and get barreled. I I, like, I had I had Carlson show me how to surf and to take a ground beating and <laughs> to party eventually. So he gave me a bit of everything, which was fucking awesome. Do you, do you think like the grommets today, the young up and coming pros, are they, how would they be able to, to handle this? Do would they uh, be, would, be up for it? Balls. With, like, I was Tosh. Cause Tosh, we forgot to mention dude, Tosh, Tosh Tudor was a trooper. It. He's yeah. so down for it. Yeah. He's so down for the strike mission and the cold and whatever. He's cool. Well, well he like, like prepared. Yeah. He's, he's someone who loves East coast too. Yeah, it seems totally. like he really enjoys coming over and, and experiencing not just the surf, but the culture and the people, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. He's, he's definitely got some love for the East coast. He's talking about getting a house over on these coasts. Oh yeah, he's gonna get Montauk or what are That'd we talking? Cool. I think he's going south, but we're gonna try. I to think this one. Otherwise. I think this trip might have changed his mind yeah. a little bit. I think he liked the <laughs> the polarity of it. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's like that must have been pretty fucking cool. But I guess like yeah, like I don't know. Like I don't see a lot of as many grommets keen for that. Like they're all keen on going to wave pools. It feels like yeah. Now. Tosh Tosh wants to get barreled. Ball yeah. wants to get barreled. Like that's there's like there's like a point of difference. Like surfing splits down the middle. You either want to get to or you don't. And I, that's like you can see yeah. it. That's what they chase. It like, it, 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 when when that prevails, like the the anything else doesn't matter. You know, like the elements don't matter because you're just there to get barreled. You know, like that's why <laughs> it's funny. I this swell was probably the most I've ever posted snow on my story because like <laughs> I. I, I, I Myself and all my friends would always like talk shit like fuck you really you're gonna make it about the cold. You I know, know. Like, oh, I know. 
is ridiculous. But I, I, I don't know. You I, had to. I hadn't do it. I hadn't done it in a while. And like, uh, it's Instagram is just fucking everything nowadays. I guess. So <laughs> you know what it is. But what you were gonna say is you've never gotten so much like engagement on your stuff. Like yeah. everyone's freaking out that yeah, you're yeah, in the yeah, snow. No, it's funny. They were losing it like as if like it was the first per- time anyone's ever done that. I'm yeah. like. I, I'm the, I hated that response. <laughs> well, that's like, Snow I mean, cloud. I think that always yeah. that tends to happen. Like certain shots like that always seem to elicit a lot of emotion reaction from people. I mean, it's, it's you surf in the snow. Like every time I tell a coworker, even they're just like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You know, <laughs> it's constant that. So I think if you want to clickbait, I mean, that's a good way to do it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, and now, you know, you're, 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 you could show your sponsors like, look, I had a that's spike. The, that's the main reason is <laughs> keep, keep yourself relevant. That's now, part of it. Now, Bob, I mean, speaking of keeping yourself relevant, I mean, you did get runner up at the Dahui uh, backdoor shootout recently. That was pretty wild. <laughs> pipe. Yeah. But, like you got a 12. No, 11. 11. Oh, sorry. 11. 11. Sorry. Uh, Anything above a ten, though, is fucking sick. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yep. only how... contest in the world you can get above a ten. I know. Yeah. I mean, it was pretty fucking sick. And and I mean, first, like it as a New Yorker, you make me so proud. You know, <laughs> it's like we're so proud, like to see you out there charging, and also like New Yorkers tend to have this heritage. I think of doing well in the North Shore. We we tend to be anti no offense guys but like anti what the east coast kind of reputation used to be you know at least growing up like what grovelly yeah Yeah, you know like oh i mean no offense (laughs) to florida but florida used to not have that reputation until like you know slater and the hobgoods you know and and, oh just slater and the hobgoods i mean matt keckley did did (laughs) fairly well but i mean Come on, Jeff Crawford. Jeff Crawford, first pipe, pipe master, master from the East Coast. That's right. I Florida. know. <laughs> but I mean, Ricky Come on, Raz. Check the mileage. Yep, yep. Ricky Raz. But Ricky, Ricky Raz, Raz is like. Oh, I heard a sick story. I can't. I, Share I, it. I don't know if I could remember yeah. enough of it to sell the whole thing, but I was um, at Uncle D's bench at Pipe the other day. And. Is it Rory? No. The dog? No, it's, Rory's it's, been sticking, it was, was staying at our place. And what, he's got what's stories. the one guy from Miami? Like, he does chiropractor. He announced for a while. Uh, contest for a while. He, he's like a chiropractor. Oh, uh, Alex Cox. No, no, no. Uh, well, whatever. These yeah. two old timer East Coast dudes were at Uncle D's bench, and nice. we just started rapping out with them. And uh, they were ended up being like really good friends of Rick Ricky Rasmussen, wow. and still talk to his sister to this day. And and yes. uh, I freak. I he, they had a few stories. I don't. I mean, I I don't want to tell them wrong, but like. You could you could get a little around the edges well, here for people that don't know who's Ricky Rasmussen. Yeah, well, Rick Rasmussen's the OG pro surfer from New York, the, the OG tour surfer from the East yes. Coast. Honestly, he, he was one of the best. He was, huh? They, they they said he was like a beast, like always went out no matter what type of type of dude. The footage of him at Low Tide G Land yeah. from Sea of Darkness oh, is the yeah. most. Fucked up shit, yeah, yeah. like early him, 80s, late 70s. Him and Linda Davoli, they went yeah. there, shot Linda Davoli, New Jersey surfer, you know, and they all went on that ABC Wide World of Sports tour to G Land. You know, this was pre Bobby's surf camp, basically, where it was pretty rough. And I mean, holy crap, I mean, he's got some incredible shots there. He, oh, yeah. Funny story. Like, so one of my, my, my therapists, she grew up with Ricky Raz no and way. like tells me all these stories, how what? they had dogs together and like, you know, all these hilarious things about him. She's like, yeah, Ricky was really nice, but man, he, he had a bit of an ego. <laughs> <You know? laughs> and I, I think you would though, if you were Sounds like, like U.S. champion. N- himself into some trouble in the end, huh? Well, you know, I interviewed uh, Thad Zikowski. Who was, did, that was one of the stories that, that the guy brought up his name is nick one of the dudes his name is nick yes. from miami ah. uh or i think yeah he's from from florida i think miami but it was like the 60s 70s surfing and uh, yeah that story was sad you know mm-hmm. like how he got shot and like there's like it, a drug deal gone wrong or something like that and in, in new york right it was a drug deal that gone wrong but the thing was he had just basically like got off on parole from like another crime and like was was free. He was an informant and he ratted out some people apparently. And then 
he was basically free, but one of his dealers like, you got to dump this stuff. You got to dump this, these goods in the city somewhere. And he tried to basically get rid of some stuff, some random people from a club he met. And then they took him uptown and then, you know, like he got a little edgy and weird and yeah. And then like they, they shot him and, you know, right in the eye. So crazy, crazy story. But, um, yeah. You know, wow. you don't have to live up to that legacy. Made the tour before that happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to live up to that legacy. And put a stamp on one of the best waves on the planet as yes. you know in New York, which yeah. That's right. But yeah. yeah he's I a mean, beast. But let's talk about that 11 real quick. I mean, that spinal tap turning it up to 11. I mean, I don't know. That's just one of those blackout moments like <laughs> You don't think about much. He looked like a closeout, and come on, it was too far outside. So he, he was like, "Oh wow!" And I fucking as soon as that's all you need, you hear that, and it's like could be a straight wall to Rockies, and I'll still go. You know, what's the <laughs> atmosphere like in the lineup? Like, is it especially for the for the for the shootout because it's a little different than a than a you know WSL event? Like, honestly, like that to have three of like your buddies out there and surfing. As good as pipe gets, pretty much. Yeah, for thirty minutes to an hour is like you you couldn't you couldn't dream of a better scenario. You know, yeah. like it's and the, how many heats? The absolute dream. We got <laughs> yo as many as as, as they, many as anyone wants to as run. many as the waves allowed. So we wow. surfed like I think five times, one hour heat and four half hour heats, <laughs> and it was insane. Just being out there like that is insane. So I think it allows for more good waves to be ridden rather than the competition because you're battling and being more selective and yeah this is just like go get the best barrel you can possibly get and it's there for the taking and like everyone kind of like sits like in their own little zones and kind of like is super mellow about it taking turns like i don't know it's a really it's a really cool event for that reason how how awesome was it the women too that was crazy that, that was, was some the of the most best. exciting shit i've seen that Yo, Bethany's bomb she pulled into, if she, if she would have made that, it was, would have been like a 12 it, on anyone's yeah, scale, you know? Yeah, like, that yeah. was insane. It was, first, for anyone, that's crazy. Yeah, She's I, doing it yeah. one arm. I thought about one it. Arm. Yeah, yeah, just imagining it. <laughs> like putting a fucking a arm on my, one arm. taping an arm to my side and trying to paddle into one of those. I'm like, I'm going over the falls yeah. every single time, 10 out of 10 times. It's, it's mind blowing and like it's kind of awesome to see like this progression and they're finally getting their their share i think and starting to get like time out there which moana's hasn't been really, encouraged moana's really doing work uh, for the women it. paving the way and getting getting it more like she get she's she's able to get good waves and she knows how to ride them and yeah. it's a huge step for that for for women's it's huge. sick it's sick you know and then you know, I was watching the the pipe contest and it was like kind of a shame they didn't let them go out the day before when it was really good. Oh, I wasn't even watching. I wonder what happened in Jack and Joao's heat. Oh, I don't oh. know. Oh, that's going to be a good one. We're gonna, what oh. happened? Should we just put it on without <laughs> the sound? <laughs> we're, we're, the pipe contest is currently on while we're in the yeah. studio. And, and we've um, been so out of the loop. I, um... Yeah, it looked, looked, looked like it was starting to pump and pulse. The early, earlier heats were like, it's fucking hard being here, seeing it pump over there, but it's it's all right now that the contest is on. But now the, is the plan to go in there for that too? Is the plan to fly back now? Oh yeah, tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. The, the forecast is insane. We have to go back immediately. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> we have to go back immediately. <laughs> right yeah. when the contest ends, is like you're gonna be firing again. Holy shit! It doesn't really stop. Does I don't it, know. It's a fucking wild winter. Is it like? For you now coming here with the wetsuit and going there, will it be like surfing like like when I used to swim, I used to wear drag shorts and shit in competition. Like, is it just feel so much looser or do you feel less protected? Uh, both. <laughs> you feel naked and you feel vulnerable. <laughs> but but it only lasts for like a session and then you feel fine again. But one last thing about pipe. Are you do you think I mean, I think it's pretty amazing seeing everyone wear a helmet. Is that something you th think you might start to try to do? Uh, I'm definitely not opposed to it. Yeah. Uh, I I don't know. I I don't think uh, I don't think I I think it would trip me out a little bit. You know, it takes some getting used to, I guess. But um, 
I don't know. I feel like it's it would change a lot. Yeah. Uh, change my surfing a lot in a way, you know, like, or at least my mindset on it. 